All right, what is up, you guys? I'm Trainer Connor, and we are here with another battle video. But this time, I'm on Showdown. Um, because it's like the servers were going down, I heard. Um, a lot of people on Twitter were saying that the servers were down. A lot of people were not battling as much. And I am currently trying to EV train a few Pokemon. So that way, I can have some more Pokemon to show off when I get some battles in for the future. And so, yeah, you know, Showdown is okay. It can be really bad, depending on how you look at it. But this is a good way to kind of get back into my YouTube self. And I just haven't been posting a lot of videos recently because summer vacation is just about to end for me. It's kind of early on, but you gotta enjoy your, you gotta enjoy your break. That's all I'm gonna say. So, uh, thank you guys. I actually hit 170 subscribers. So 30 more and we hit 200. I don't know if I'll hit that mark anytime soon, but hey, spread the word. I appreciate it. So, we have we have to try Arachnid again. And I've actually changed up my members. Um, if you saw the last video, I actually tried out Arachnid. I've decided to kind of change it up. And so here we have Mega Bennett. Oh, before I go into detail, if you don't want to listen to this, okay, this is my analysis. I'll put an annotation in the description, so that way you can jump right into the battle. So make sure you check the description, and then just click on the button there, and then you can jump right in to the battle. I think that's really nice for people who are like, I don't want to listen to you ramble and ramble. But yeah, it's very nice. Okay, so here's the analysis. I will be using Mega Bennett. It's got Shadow Claw, Shadow Sneak, Knock Off, and Will. It's pretty standard in my opinion. Um, but you know what? I want to Will Wisp a few things. It kind of makes Rakuna shine through. If you have a physical attacker and you, or anything like that, it's easy to switch in. But if it's a special attacker, I don't know what to do with that. But that's what my thinking is. I don't know. We knock off items, that's pretty good. Leftovers, anyone? And then Shadow Claw, Shadow Sneak is for Stab. And we have the Benectite there, Mega Evolve, and then the EV Sprag is there as well. And yes, we have Araquanid with the Liquidation, Poison Jab, Lunge, and Leech Life. We actually have, instead of the Choice Band, because I used the Choice Band in the last uh, Wi Fi battle video. I'm actually going to change it up to Mystic Water just because I like to bluff the fact that I'm choice banding, but I'm not. And so just having that is a great addition to the table. And we see the moves there again, water bubble there, and then the 252 attack and then 248 and 8 in special defense. It's kind of like a nice complex spread there, not by much, but it's it's good to have that kind of extra space and defense so you can survive some hits on the special side. We're going to try something very unique on Tyranitar. I know most of you like to use physical attack, Tyranitar, physically defensive or specially defensive Tyranitar. I've seen a lot of those. But we have a choice scarf Tyranitar. And you're like, what? That's crazy. So the set that I will be using on this guy you know, especially offensive. Dark Pulse, Ice Beam, Thunderbolt, and Fire Blast. I should probably change it to Flamethrower for accuracy, but hey, let's give it a shot. And I've decided, instead of the normal ability for him, I think it's Sandstream, right? I will be using Unnerve. I don't know why. I just don't feel like Sand benefits this team very much. So why not just change it to Unearth? And the EV spread is 252, 252, 4. I like to do the standard spread. Maybe next time I'll change it up and we'll see how everything goes from there. And then we have Togekiss and Magneton there. I'll go with Togekiss first here. Uh, we have Thunder Wave, Dazzling Gleam, Air Slash, and Wish. It's kind of weird, I guess. I don't know, because you, you normally use Wish and Protect. 
But also, she's trying to use Thunder Wave and Air Slash and Dazzling Gleam for some offensive punch there. Super Luck, Leftovers, Spread Bears. Pretty standard again. And then we have Magaton, and then we see Karen Black. Yeah, I haven't really used him in a while, but Magaton, uh, Eevee Light, Magnapol, Flash Cannon, Volk, Switch, Hidden Power Fire, Magnet Rise. And the reason I'm going with Magnet Rise is because. I saw someone use it, and it's like, when you use it right, you can dodge earthquakes or earth powers. Any of those moves, it, it's great. I'll, I'll definitely make sure I have an opportunity to use Magnet Rise, Magneton. I don't think we'll see it in this video, but it's there. And then we have the EV spread there. And then last but not least, we have ICMZ Kiram Black. I don't know. I haven't use Kieran Black all too much and he's very good don't get me wrong but it's just interesting it's, it's, it's just he's a legendary he looks like he's an uber's Pokemon but he's not he's probably OU or something like that and it is OU gosh darn it so I'm not using a random uber's but ICMZ Freeze Shock Stone Edge Fusion Bolt Outrage I'm going out of order there but you know what Free Shock, that's his signature move. Let's see if we can use it. I don't know, it's two turns. I also have the ICMZ, so I don't have the power herb to charge it up or anything. It's gonna be weird using Kiram Black, but it's okay. And then you have the EV spread there. So thank you guys for watching the analysis video. It's kind of weird just doing this. I haven't really done much of a team analysis for Pokemon battles, but I'll improve as I go forward. So with that said, Hope you guys enjoyed the video, or the battle of this video, uh, however you want to say it. Enjoy the battle, and I'll see you in a second. Alright, let's do it. Alright, here's the battle. If you guys skipped to this portion of the video, well, good on you, because you didn't want to listen to my analysis. But before we start the battle, if you, if for those who actually did not see the analysis, I have to go through and tell you all, I have a Mega Bennett. A Mystic Water Arachnid Tyranitar that is Swiss Scarf, but it is specially def it's not specially defensive, it's specially inclined. So it has Dark Pulse, Ice Beam, Flamethrower, and uh, Key Bolt. So, very interesting set there. We have a Defensive Togekiss, and we have a Magneton, the Eviolite, and then Kiram Black with the Ice Z Power move. Sub Zero Slammer, I believe that's what it is. And you see, my opponent has a lot of fairy types. Half of his team is fairy, so having Magneton is actually really nice. Gardevoir, Magirna, which I really hate facing Magirna now that I think about it. And then Rotom, Wash, Aloha Nine Tails, who becomes a fairy type. And then you have Salamis. And then Tapu Lele? Yeah, and it's also a fairy, so. Four out of the six are fairies. It's very interesting. I haven't really faced that many fairies. So let's go ahead and play this thing. I will actually stop to make a note of certain plays. But we can do this. I know I can. Okay. So he's going to start with Salamence. I'm going to start with uh, Togekiss. Excuse me. I actually did scare him off there. I was going to go with a Thunder Wave to kind of paralyze him. But then I'm like... I want to go for Wish, because if he has a coverage move, I need to see it, and then I can get my HP back, or something like that. But in this scenario, he goes into Magirna, and that is awesome because I can, you know, get my Wish activated. I go into Magneton for the typing matchup. If he has a move that he's going to go for, I can dodge it, and then get my HP back, like, like you see here. And now, I was really scared about this. He has Focus Blast, and I didn't see that. I was going for Volt Switch, expecting a, uh, a Switch Out of some kind, expecting a Flash Cannon. But no, he, he just went for the Focus Blast, and he's going to continue going for Focus Blast on my Arachnid here. I don't know, I think he's just trying to put some chip damage to my Arachnid. If he went for any other move, I think he would have finished me off. 
But you know what? This is awesome. I got a try out. I got a chance to try out a raccoon egg without being choice banded or whatnot. And it's actually working out. So I might prefer that set over being choice banded. Who knows? I mean, that's my opinion. But I cannot stay on Mag or, uh, on Gargafor. I we go to the Magaton, and he likely follows in front of my face. Go for the Calm Mind. This is scary. And it's a two hit KO, and I resist it. Flash Cannon, though, is not going to do as much because he boosted up his special defense. What are we going to do about it? So I go with Tyranitar thinking, okay, being short scarf means I will outspeed you. And I do outspeed, I go for Fire Blast. And I get the burn. Now, I was... I know he set up on me. I know he did. But I was expecting to do a lot more than that because Tyranitar's special attack is really good, actually. I do get the burn off, which is okay. It wouldn't have mattered that much, but this will give me a great opportunity to Mega Evolve, go with the Shadow Sneak, finish off Mega Carter 4 because that Pokemon is just doing a lot of work. And now he goes for Dark Pulse on his uh, Rotom Wash. I haven't really used Rotom Wash, I haven't really faced that many that use Dark Pulse, so man, go on him for using that. Now, he obviously predicted my switch in the Toga Kiss as he went for the Volt Switch. That is unfortunate, because he gets the better end of this deal. He gets to go into Alola, Nine Tails. He goes for Nasty Plot. I go for Thunder Wave, trying to slow him down, because I know from experience that Alola, Nine Tails is very fast. So I just go for that. And he ends up setting up. He went for the ice type move or the fairy type move. Togekiss would not be here. Going for these dazzling gleams and air slashes and paralyzing a lot of nine tails to death. Man, that was something. I don't know. If I wore the nine tails, I would have just gone for the attacking move. So we end up taking out a lot of nine tails with Togekiss. And this is where the trouble begins. This is where the trouble begins. I have nothing for Tapu Lele. I've, I've seen so many of these Pokemon doing a lot of work. I have no way of taking him out. He's Life Orb or anything. He is Life Orb, okay? That's good to know that. I'm like, okay, let's go for Shadow Seek, and it doesn't work. That's his ability, in effect. What am I supposed to do about it? I don't have anything that's faster. If I had my choice scarf time after, I would have done a lot of work there. But alas, I will end up losing this battle all because I didn't really have anything for Tapu Lele. Still a great battle though. I enjoyed it. But I just need to prepare a lot better and I will. I am determined to get a really good team together to kind of knock out those fairies that are just out there being destructive. And fairies are not that destructive in real life. If that is a thing. But, you know, in the fairy tales, they're not that destructive. But here, they are just doing some major work. So we see Kapi Lele doing a lot of work here. I got a chance to use a record leg. So what's next? Guys, I have no idea. I just need to put a video out just saying I'm still alive and everything. I might continue some battles here, and I will continue EV training. So we'll see where that goes. I'll probably put up another battle here on Showdown in a little while, but not as long as I used to be doing. So uh, again, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like this video and subscribe. I want to get 200 subs if I can. If not, then that's fine too. And I will see you in the next video. Have a great day. See ya.